The furniture is, um, my understanding it's made by the Wakefield Rattan Company in Boston, Massachusetts, sometime prior to 1897. I purchased it from a friend of mine a few months back, and I gave her $300 for the three pieces. I was trying to clean it up. I turned the chairs upside down, and I found the original labels underneath both of the chairs. I know there's some damage, especially on that chair, and I've talked to repair people, but after I decided to come to the Antique Road Show, I had seen so many shows where people had done repairs to stuff before the show, and they regretted it. So I decided to wait until after the, the show before I decided what to do. You've covered a lot of stuff there. You've done a lot of my job for me. But <laughs> So as you noted, all three pieces are labeled uh -huh. uh, Wakefield R Rattan right. Company. That is the uh, predecessor to Hayward Wakefield right. Company, which is one of the best known mm -hmm. uh, furniture makers in American history. The rattan was discovered, if you will, uh, as packing material that came in with the ships from uh, from the Orient, right. and uh, it was discarded on the docks, and some people figured out you could make furniture out of it quite effectively and beautifully. And these pieces date to post-Civil War, uh, perhaps uh, 1870s or maybe into the 80s, okay. so they were made well before the merger of Hayward and Wakefield. These three, although they have some damage, they have spectacular color. Uh, yeah. They've almost always been refinished or stripped mm -hmm. or, or painted, but these have wonderful original color, which is very appealing to collectors. Right. I just want to refer to the, the aprons down here. Uh -huh. the, uh, the work is, is amazing. It and is, yes. All of this stick and ball work, uh -huh. the decorative work in both the table and the chairs. And what's really remarkable, if I, if I tip this forward a little bit, um, you can see that the condition of the of the top is is perfect, and right. that's unheard of. Right. They they never survive like that. How much were you told it would take to restore them? About fifteen hundred dollars. I wouldn't hesitate to restore them. Uh, if it costs you fifteen hundred dollars uh -huh. to restore them, I can't say that that would come back again and right, yeah. increase in the value. Yeah. But it would certainly stabilize them and uh -huh. prevent. Uh, further deterioration, Correct. so yep. I think it's a good idea. Okay, yep, I, I'm going to do that, yes, for sure. Because of how good these okay. pieces are, even though the condition is not perfect, right. the, the color, the completeness, mm -hmm. the extraordinary form of, of all of them, I would say a $5,000 retail price would not be oh out of the gosh. question. I knew they were special. 